Hey YouTube, Coin Picker here. Here are my thrift store finds for the past week. Picked up this cool little tin, Hamilton watches, advertising piece, one dozen mainsprings. So this is probably like turn of the century, like early 1900s, maybe in the teens. And I got it from the local value village. $4.99, but I did have a $2 off coupon because I filled out, you know, one of those surveys on the receipts. So that was pretty handy to get. Um, so not bad. I see these online sell in this kind of condition for about, I'd say about $20 to $25 Canadian, which is not bad. Uh, something I would keep. I think it's pretty cool. I do have uh, one or two Hamilton pocket watches that I've thrifted, so that would definitely look good together. So it's a lithographed tin. Very nice. And in pretty good shape. And next, I found these two bracelets in the uh, jewelry display. So they're charm bracelets. This one was $4.99, which is pretty cheap. And the other one was $14.99. But this one is a thicker bracelet and had a few more charms on it. So I think um, silver value alone, it's worth together about $50 Canadian. So I paid roughly about $20 plus taxes. So I double up on my money. And um, there's some pretty neat charms. I mean, if I sold them piece by piece, each charm probably get like between five and ten dollars, maybe a little bit more if I'm lucky. So check out these charms. I think this one's pretty cool. The lim limbo limba lim I what do you call that dance? You know, they're going under the pole. Limbo. There's a Virgo charm, good luck horseshoe, little painter's ease, uh, what do you call it? Is it easel, it's called? Um, this little guy here playing the drums. And this little, I think is it a horn or a chili or something? So that is nice. And the other one, you got a happy face, you got a rolling pin, little mouse or rat without a tail. This is gold filled, I believe. So that's about the same value as uh, sterling. And you got ballerina slippers, VIP charm. Got a shell with a pearl, and it does say 925 on the inside. And what's this? It is a typewriter. I think we found one of those like last week or something in a bag. Something similar, anyways. Uh, we have this little kitty cat. And what is it? Hands in Prayer? I think that is about it. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, you know, I pretty much double up on these, but uh, I couldn't resist. It's like free money, right? Silver. So, and they're pretty cool charms. And next, I found this necklace and pendant in the junk jewelry um, displays just hanging there for me. So it was really cheap, $3.29, and it is marked 925. Let's see if we can do a close up on it. Yeah, it says 925 right here, and it has the maker's mark MJI. And the pendant, which is pretty chunky, and I think that is a cabochon 
amethyst, or is it the other way around? Amethyst cabochon, like a rounded jewel, no facets. So the marks right here, it's really hard to read even with a, um, a loop, jeweler's loop. But here, if you could sort of see, it is, it does say 925. I think like S925 or something like that. And here's like some sort of maker's mark. But I don't know, it just looked like a, an artisan piece or something like very nice. Check that out. Look at the details. Well, I think that is how much silver. Uh, this little thing is probably like five grams, maybe six. Quite a well, minus a stone, six, seven, eight. Um, probably about eight bucks of silver, maybe nine. But as a wearable, nice piece of jewelry, maybe could sell it for, if I wanted to, maybe $20 Canadian, like the necklace and the pendant. So pretty good find. Take that any day of the week. And then here is the biggest watch I've ever found before. It's a Swatch Max, well, actually it's a Maxi Swatch clock, wall clock. And it comes in its original box and uh, according to the box this was purchased in 1997. Um, it's not brand new because I did find a battery it was like a C, C uh, shaped battery inside the box with it. Luckily they took the, the battery out of the clock or you know there's a possibility of getting corrosion in the battery compartment which is no good. But let me just open this up. And actually, let me read the information on the side here. So it's a Fito Misto GR114, made in Switzerland. Let's see, purchased 1997. And this model is called the uh, Lucky Shadow. So the box is pretty good shape. There's some, of course, you know, it's almost like, what, 23, was it 23 years old? There's some um, little dings and little breaks, you know, to be expected. Uh, the plastic handle was so old that it did have a break in it. So I just tucked it back in the box. Like it used to have a handle here. And when I bought it, it was like already snapped, but the other piece was still in the box. And when I tried to, um, I guess, fiddle around with it, the other side snapped. So I will probably glue that back together and just keep it with the box. But uh, check this out. I mean, whoever bought it or originally had it took great care, taking it like really good condition. So you got the original information or warranty spec sheet. and instructions how to put it together. So you got the two pins, a little crown, how to adjust it, how to install it. So this thing is huge. Funny thing is, um, I popped on it right away. Uh, this was only $14.99 Canadian plus taxes. So you see, that's the cowboy and his shadow. It's, um, that's like the hour hand, hour hand, the minute hand. Is that how you could? I think that's what it is. Uh, does not look like a, oh, I guess the second hand, would that be the this little bird or that might be a, just a sticker? Um, possibly. No, probably doesn't have a minute hand or a second hand, sorry. So uh, no scratches or anything like that. So they probably put it on the wall or tried it and maybe not even put it on the wall. They tried it out and then put it back in the box. And yeah, there was like an old, old battery um, that was in the box. I just threw it away. 
well, not super old, but you know, it's, I think it was like Swan brand from Shanghai, China. So it's probably one of those dry uh, pile batteries, not alkaline, which is a good thing. So check this out. It's like basically in mint condition. And for only $14.99. And I did check the comps on this. Uh, something similar, uh, but not the same style, like this model. Uh, they sell online between $200, and, $200 to $400. So that's a huge range. So I guess when I get tired of this, I might try to flip it locally. I wouldn't want to ship something like this. I mean, it's all plastic. The box is pretty collectible. I'd have to get a box for this box. So it's just too much trouble and probably crazy money to ship to the to the States from Canada. So um, even locally, you know, ship it within Canada is, you know, it's not super cheap, but it's manageable. But uh, yeah, probably just sell this locally. And uh, funny thing is, I, get, I got this from the Salvation Army uh, thrift store, but a couple of years ago, I saw something similar. It was also a maxi swatch wall clock. Not this one, not in this condition. And it was, I think like 25 bucks or 30 bucks or something like that. And it was at another store, another Salvation Army. And um, it looked like it was used, like, you know, it was hung up somewhere, you know, it was all put together. And um, yeah, no box. So, even that that time, I was hesitant about getting it. You know, I was thinking, mm, is it worth it? Blah blah blah. But when I saw this one in this shape, you know, original box, I thought, got to pop on it. Anyways, yeah, when you see those weird items that you rarely see, sometimes uh, you know, just use your instinct. Sometimes you just have to go, yes, I got to get it. Uh, I'm not like super crazy about watches. It's, I don't know. It seems like I'm pretty getting pretty good profit uh, reselling clocks and watches. I don't want to be like no, known as the uh, coin picker, the clock guy or clock picker. I know. I, I I was known for spoons for the longest time. So I'm glad that like I'm not like pigeonholed into like one area. But you know, go with the flow. Sometimes, you know, like when life gives you, it throws you lemons, you, you make lemonade. So apparently life is throwing me watches and clocks. Okay, I'll take it. But yeah, check this out. It's like pretty cool. I'm even tempted to put it on my wall. But you know what? I'd rather have 400 bucks in my pocket. And let me see if I could find that little piece here. Yeah, part of the original handle. You see that? It looks like a watch strap, actually. And the end is basically snapped off because it's such, like, so old. The plastic is super old. So, you know, just for the sake of keeping it intact, I'll probably uh, crazy glue the two pieces back together and just leave it in the box for the next purchaser. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Coin picker out.